A man bought what he thought was a poodle in Argentina, and it turned out that it was a ferret on steroids. This is a local news report out of Argentina, which caught the attention of a bunch of, of, of uh, uh, different worldwide, really, news outlets. And there was a man who was supposedly selling toy poodles at a, at a market, and a guy bought one, took it to a vet, and it turns out that it's basically a giant weasel. And there were a number of follow-up stories. It's what Argentinians call a Brazilian rat. I have no idea if that's a, a, a scientifically correct term or not. It's basically a ferret that is given steroids at birth to increase its size, and then they groom the hair. The thing is, it doesn't even really look like a poodle. Like, I, I wouldn't really fall for a poodle. I don't know why we have this picture I, up. I, I was hoping some... to have the side-by-side -side of it. Yeah. I did see some pictures, and from, from I mean, from the camera angles, of course, they're just uh, crappy camera online pictures. It, it did look like it could be a dog. As you know, Lewis, I'm from Argentina and there's a whole bunch of scams down there. Natan, quickly summarize like when you negotiated to buy the the mate gourd and, and just there's anytime you go to a street sale of any kind, you have to be aware of scams. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't that wasn't really an example of a scam. No, I not mean, really. <laughs> that was just that uh, I didn't really feel like negotiating and the guy wanted to basically he gave me a price and then two seconds later he added about <laughs> 10 pesos to the price. And I pointed it out and I said, well, I guess the prices just went up because <laughs> he was claiming prices went up after he had given me the price. So and then I, he really cited like inflation. He said, well, prices have been going up. And it's like, right. but hold on. How do you just last been talking to me? How do you know that the market has driven prices up during our conversation? Uh, you got to be aware of, of that type of stuff, Lewis, when you all go right. shopping on the street in Argentina. Anywhere, all over yeah, the world. Yeah, anywhere, really. Yeah. I know somebody who was actually doing some street shopping in China just looking at some ties, silk, supposedly silk ties, picks up a tie and a salesman comes over and goes, do you want the tie? 10 yuan. And he goes, no, you know, I'm just kind of looking at the tie. He goes, one yuan. All of a sudden, instantly, there was a 90% discount just in the kind of course of the negotiation. Right. Gotta Here, get rid you should have negotiated for the right animal rather than the right price, you know? Yeah, you know, ferrets are actually, a lot of people like ferrets. Yeah. They're considered uh, pretty good pets. They're pretty smart. Is that right? Yeah, they, they kind of smell bad, but, uh, you know, a lot of What people, doesn't these days? A lot of people like ferrets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. Next, we will talk to Dennis Campbell about reaction to the passing of the first British prime first British female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher. That's next. Stay with us. And plenty more coming up after that, too. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.